Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to Chill Beats. Oh, that beat, oh, that beat came in, didn't it? I don't know what, I don't know what this is. I don't know what music, but I just had to put this. It's been a day. Welcome. Look, it's only lemon. It's only 2.30 and it's been a day. I thought I was going to maybe go live at 1. No. Should we turn this? Let's calm this down a bit. Let's calm this boy down. Am I going to get in trouble for playing this? I don't know. Um... Hopefully not. Hi everyone, Snow Ray. Thank you for the raid. How are you? What's it, what have you been up to? Are you magicking? And if so, how did it go? If you weren't magicking, I don't want to know. Not interested. I'm only interested in the magicking. Nothing else. Um, I'm covered. My fingers are covered in chocolate. So it's been a day already. Um, okay, fine. I won't tell you. Oh no. Oh no. Um, hi everyone. Congrats on, yeah, congrats on a boost. Uh, 5.30, ready to go to bed. I hope, I hope it's not too bad. Uh, I just hope it's not too bad. Um, uh, how, 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 how is everyone? It's, I don't know what's going to happen today. I just had to do a bunch of last minute camera adjustments. My glasses are wonky. Possum. Yeah, you've won. You've won. Congratulations, you've won. I don't know what you've won yet, but you've definitely won. Um, what was I going to say? You see, this is why I can't... What a day. Thanks for, the st thanks for joining me. We're going to raid out. <laughs> I don't know. I just... There's nothing. It's not happening. It's like I'm just not in gear, and I don't know why that is. I went to bed a bit too late, I got up a bit too late. I probably haven't had quite enough calories. I've had a reasonable amount of calories. I need some more exercise. I haven't exercised much in the last few days. Um, what else is happening in my life? Uh, I don't, what, a lot. I just sell a criminal Paul Dean. The moment I start streaming, a loud vehicle goes past, and only then. There's been no other loud vehicles for the rest of today. Like, there's this. People know. People know. People just know. They just know what's happening somehow. The world, it's like. The world's like the Truman Show. And it's like, alright, Paul's doing something. We have to move everything behind the scenes. Anyway, I don't. Look, I'm just, I'm just a dude in his apartment in Vancouver. How are you? The sun is coming out and going in. We had yesterday, like after I finished streaming, because obviously, you know, it's pretty much, it's the verge of summer. The most like threatening skyline where you have that thing where the sun is out, right? It's very bright, but at the same time, there are huge clouds. So the sun just sort of illuminates everything under massive clouds. So you have these really, really dark grey just clouds just splooshed across the horizon. But all the buildings are shining. It's very threatening and weird and it happened at like 7 or something yesterday and it looked a bit odd. And now today, there's this similar kind of sort of back and forth. The sun's coming in and out so that I'm afraid the lighting's going to change a lot on the stream and I'll do my best to deal with that. But it's... It's very up and down it's very on and off it's very binary and when that sun comes in it's hugely bright and now it's like a bright but cloudy day but if i look over there you can't see any of this i'm sorry if i look over there there's just clouds but then if i look over there the clouds are really heavy and thick we've had some heavy rain so like i don't know if what's going to happen next is going to be like just today or if it's going to be another one of these heavy rain things with like some strong winds. Or if all of this is going to get blown away and the sun is going to come blasting out. I don't know what's going on. Huge uptick in patience with the belief they are trapped in a similarly staged world. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But that's interesting to me. Um, 
Mostly cloudy, yeah. I'd call this mostly cloudy. Not heavy cloud, though. Very variable cloud. Um, what is it? There's a thing where people can believe that those around them have been replaced by um, uh, imposters. I can't remember what that's called. That's a real thing that exists. Um... Um, I'm, oh, I'm just going to type a thing to check the weather here. That's a different weather report. So Nightbot says 11 degrees. Hmm, all right. This says 12 degrees and raining. It is definitely not raining. It, just doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway. There was an interesting thing uh, published in The Guardian the other day where somebody was... Um, they're writing about a friend of theirs feeling that everybody was against them. Uh, and trying to support that friend, but also explain to them, like, I don't think you're being realistic or I think you're being unreasonable. Uh, and it was written to an advice column with a person who actually knows what they're talking about. And the person responding was like... Um, was saying there's been an uptick of some of this stuff in the pandemic. And... Things like believing that one of the things, it varies from person to person, but one of the things that can happen when you believe conspiracies or complicated things are happening against you or about you is it can actually be a response to feeling powerless or not important or like actually it's preferable maybe to the opposite, which is like nobody's talking about you or nobody's thinking about you. Um... Which I guess there's a certain logic around that, I suppose. But I feel like in the I've heard things about how in the pandemic there's been an uptick in amongst some people of I don't know, I guess paranoia and concerns, and maybe that's explained some of the, the building conspiracy stuff as well, is um Yeah. Ha. Huh. Um it's like after Close Encounters, that code of... Was it Close Encounters that did that? Yeah, maybe it was. Sorry, I'm just trying to go back in my head to look, thinking about aliens and different alien films. Which is great, because now that gives us... second cup of coffee that gives it there's a perfect segue into hopefully playing the video game whoa don't worry about it um the betty and barney hill yes i know that one well um Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, space, look, okay. Can you hear me? I've got four choices, like the music here. I can't move this. The music is 0, 25, 50, 75, or 100. Ah, uh, uh, please stop. Hi user, hi user error. How you doing? Am I audible? Am I presentable? How do I look? Look, I had a full bath yesterday. Look, see, look, the sun's coming out. Now I look too bright. So the, the music choices are no or 25. No or 25. No. Or 25. So, can we all stop sassing me about the 80s, please? There's nothing wrong with it apart from <laughs> Reaganomics and racism and everything else and horrible homophobia. There's nothing wrong with the 80s. Um, the 
you're audible and presentable, but this is some music. Okay, oh, it, I mean, it, mm. Anyway, I had a full bath yesterday. I'm gonna, mm. Those are my options. You know what, what happens if I go new game? Maybe it'll chill, no. I had a full bath yesterday, it was great, I really needed it. I had a proper shower, I did a full, like all kinds of grooming of sort of preening and poking myself and doing things. I had a coffee in the bath, which was nice. Um, talk to people on TikTok while in the bath. Not like live on camera, but you know, it was just like, how are you, what's, what's happening if, you know, I see you make TikToks about politics. How did politics things where you are? How do you feel about the pandemic? How do you feel about this thing that happened in Canadian news? For your eyes out, oh, okay. I clicked the wrong way. Here we go, welcome to Space Corps. I have no idea what to expect from Space Corps, apart from the, uh, it was gifted to me by my friend Noemi, because it was a couple of dollars and she was like, you, have to, you should do this on stream. I think you'll find it fun and like it. And it, it might just be a few hours, so it just might be one or two streams. If you're receiving this message, it means your application to join the hallowed and storied halls of space got being carefully evaluated and ultimately approved, or you've been drafted. Either way, we'd like you to, to we'd like to, to be the first welcome to use a new life space court judge. A judge's duty is to preserve the peace found throughout the galaxy. During your tenure, this music is something else. You will certainly face many difficult situations. Just remember, you must do your job no matter what. By continuing, you agree to waive Space Court responsibility for any and all personal injuries. Sustained during the course of your duties, including but not only cannibalization, telepathic fishing, molecular disintegration, injection, and vacuum with space robotic enslavement, carbonic parasites, replicative teleportation, evolutionary recession, dismantlement by nanomachines, brood mother metamorphosis, involuntary consciousness transfer, spontaneous energy conversion. Visions of unknowable horrors and the total thermonuclear annihilation of the galaxy and all organic life. They're in scientific. <laughs> Signing is mandatory. Is a bath a soup or a broth? I guess it's a soup. Or is it a suspense? See, the sun's come out. The sun's come out now. So now I have to. Hold on. I have to just adjust this down to here, so I'm not overexposed. Oh, that's not, that wasn't a very good, okay. Where's the pool water? No, no. We have choices in life. Like, there are things that happen in the world. Is that me? Uh-oh. We have choices in the world, right? Judge, wonderful to meet you in person. We have choice. Listen, we have choices in the world. We have choices about things that we can do. We can choices. I don't... Why am I wearing a cap? What's my... F why... Did one of you... Did somebody text me? What's happening? I have so many unread texts. Somebody did. I'm sorry if I haven't got back to you. It's because I'm rubbish. Your head isn't the exact right... Right, correct, yes. Yes, I hadn't thought about that. We have a problem here. Okay, hold on, hold on, we can fix this. We can fix this. <laughs> I hadn't thought about this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, 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 just hold your horses. If you have a horse with you right now. Right, I've moved myself over here. Maybe this is good? I don't know. Is this good? You can dive exposure. Look, getting back to the bath thing. We all have choices about what we do and don't do. We all have, you know, you have to get up in, at, the, at the end of the day or at the start of the day, really. You have to get up, look at yourself in the mirror. And like, you know, be happy with that. And there's things that some of us will do and some of us won't do. 
Anyway, Judge, wonderful to meet you. We'll, you know, we'll talk about this later as the stream goes on. I've been assigned to be your, your advisor during the tenure. We are truly indebted to you for accepting this position at such short notice. Uh, whoops, I clicked through that. What did that say? No idea. Really hard. There we go. Can I can I go backward through text? Can I go back? Is there? No, I've lost that text forever. Uh, happy to be here. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was a toddler to join the ranks of Space Court judges. What a weird toddler dream. I'm not gonna... You know, there was a lot of bath chat between me and several women friends recently, and it gave me a lot to think about. Um... I'm trying to move past that, but it remains in my head. Uh, it's been a dream of mine ever since I was a It's a weird thing for a toddler to dream about. Wonderful! It's so refreshing to see someone who actually wants to be here. What? Let me give you the rundown. In the drawer underneath the desk, you'll find all your paper filings. Paper? Yes, trees make it. No, I mean, why not Quantech or even digital? We're a little behind the curve here. That's also why the decor is so rusty. Ooh, that's my options up there. All right. But don't worry, it all still works. In your desk, you'll find something called pens. They spit ink like scar glots. You can put a pen on the paper. I got it. Take a look around. Have you everything else you need to settle in? As far as I can tell, I don't see a gavel anywhere. One should have already been made ready for you. I'll submit a requisition request. And it should be processed in, oh, let's see, right around six months. Six months to get gavel. This sounds like a legal process. No six months to get it approved. Purchasing it will take another two to 16 weeks. After that, we do have two-day shipping. As you know, there are a number of different species in this quadrant. Have you had time to review the report provided on them? I haven't received any report. Oh, this is going to be a shit show. Truly, did you check the spam folder in your workspace mail? Sometimes things can space end up space there. I was space supposed to get a workspace mail? Oh dear. Can we... Why are we still talking about that topic in chat? I'll look into that for you, but I'm sure the represent will up here shortly to introduce themselves to person. In per look, okay everyone, look. 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 I know what my chat's like. My chat is full of queer and gay people misbehaving. It's Friday. It's Friday the 13th. I don't need queer and gay people misbehaving. Look at me. I'm a heterosexual man now underexposed because the light's changed in a hat. Do you think I come here for gay people to misbehave? Do I look like that kind of man who wants that? Don't answer that. I look at, I'm sure the representative will be up here shortly to introduce themselves in person. Oh, he's come through a portal. I just saw that. Or a, it looks like he goes to the Willy Wonka dimension. Perhaps some practical advice is in order. Is this Jesus? No. Uh, OXO lost the license, so it's north. Why is this still happening? Some of the beings you're going to meet here, well, if you fall into their bad graces, they have their power to make you like a walking nightmare. That's bad. Frankly, some of them might do that even if they do like you, but it wouldn't hurt to at least try and stay on everyone's good side. That's not what the law is about. Jesus wasn't white, Paul, you imperialist. Don't be mean to me just because I'm English and from a country with a massive problematic history. Although I guess you could also do the exact opposite because I didn't go with it. I don't think anyone would blame you. I don't see this plague to vanish off a star map. Most of the high arts would celebrate because it means less paperwork so just well i don't know i guess just you do you good talk maybe expedite that report no promises all right good luck best to do what everyone else does and take one week at a time if you can survive to the weekend you'll have at least beaten the last guy wow that's bad i'll check on you time for time to just give you a hand if you need it. Just try not to get everything blown up. But I'm sure that would be a problem. Toodles. Backwards. That's important. You. Wow. 
Where were you? Do you have any idea of the trouble you've caused the headaches I've had to deal with? No. Look at me, I'm a judge, I've got tenure. Why not stop answering my phone? Why not stop checking my space bound? Why not leave my office? Days at a time, don't tell me you're on vacation, don't even think that. Was it one of the spa planets? Are there spa planets? If it was Sabaticus, I'm going to blow it up. Wow. Yep, I decided blowing it up. Don't even care if it was a different one. Okay. It's got 4 billion people killed. Are you happy? Still worth the space book gallery? Hold on. Don't you dare start with the excuses. What a reasonable person. Um, I don't want to hear another noise come out your weird little face hole besides it's ready. Do you understand me? Let me explode. That's not it's ready. Order. Ahem. And the new judge I started today. Sorry to hear you've been having problems with this court. Whatever issues you had, the previous judge, they're in the past. Today's a new day. Oh. Well, you're equally squishy. Maybe wear different clothes. These are standard. Let's start over with him to the pleasure. The have the Balloon appreciated that. Ah. Uh, who am I? I'm the commander of the mighty Bloon Empire, the last site of rebellions, terror of Berzelis, and scourge of the stars. In the less time I have taken up by lousy bureaucrats, the quicker I can get back to terrorizing and scourging, so let's move this along. Cycles ago, we submitted all the documentation required for an acknowledgement of conquest of the planet Epsilon V. I was given assurances over and over that it was close to being approved. Then this office went dark. None of our post-conquest operations have been allowed to begin until the office pulled its head out of its own. Sphincter, an entire empire's military industrial complex, backed up waiting on a single signature from this court. Interesting that they'll blow up a planet on a whim, but wait for a signature to... This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Uh, I understand, thank you for bringing this to my balloon like that. Provide you... okay. Review your case prior to provide you with a response tomorrow if possible. My face is in the way, little. There's nothing... I, I will let you know there's nothing on the screen currently being obscured by. Prompt response from this court. Wow. You better be able to live up to that because I'll be keeping my eye on you. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, where the options come up. Right. You know what I can do? You know what I can do? It'll just, just, just as, you know what? We can actually fully just. I, ha I have the power to. Do a few different things. Am I gonna like how this looks? Let's see. I don't know if this is gonna look great, but I'm gonna do a thing. if I do this it's a lot of blank space isn't it it's a lot of blank space if I do that the space it's blank you know what I need is just some kind of a space banner at the bottom I could I could make that live right now What kind of a do I have a do I look I've got different things you see that I could just I could just drop into the background the game is quite chunky mm. but still but still you know What if? 
Uh, you know what? If I do it like this, this, this is not so bad. Chat's a bit of a mess along the side. This pleases the co mm. I can I can just trundle I can trundle my camera down a little bit. <laughs> this really look, makes it look like I'm peeping in on the side, doesn't it? I'm not gonna put my head on the judge body. I'm not here to put my head on judge body, same as I'm not here to make call suit. Let's see how this goes. Thank you for the feedback though, I do appreciate it, it's helpful, otherwise I wouldn't have noticed for like an hour and then something would happen and I'd be like, oh no. Peeping pool. Does it look like I'm peeping into the pot? The co anyway, hello, says the eye. Most of these aliens seem to involve eyes. I'm the new judge, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Um. Put your head on the, I, you're not my dad, you can't tell me what to do. Wood room chief, speak big, too big, folk not understand. Okay, fine, I'll put my head on the judge body. Alright. <laughs> I... Oh, why, why, why do I do this? Why do I listen to all of you? Gay criminals. Why do I do this? This is, I'm being. <sighs> are we. Are you happy now? Are you all, I'm going to move the text a bit again. Hold on. Hold on, this is, this, OBS is a bit, you think you've clicked on something on OBS and you think you're going to move it, then OBS is like, no, you're moving something else, mate. Ah, uh, who you? Me and you judge, hello. Pork appreciated that. Pork chief understand. Pork chief, chief of porks. This is going well. Pork chief need help? No pork life good, pork just say hi. Thankful hi. Pork appreciate wood room sheep welcome. <laughs> Bye. You've arrived, wonderful. This is just lots of people turning out. We're so glad someone's rhyming to finally fill that spot. We have a list of complaints that are piled up. Oh yes we do. Shall we get started? Real quick, who are you? Where are my manners? Terribly sorry, there's so much to be done. I'm more Thank you. Yeah, that does buy a cup of coffee. Not right now, because I'm here right now, but like, I might go and treat myself to a cup of coffee made by somebody. I might go and get donuts, actually. Thank you, Alec. That's really nice. Thank you. Aww. That's worth this. Yes, it does. It, it, it does. It's great. Thank Basically, yes, and thank you. Thank you. I'm the, How are you? I'm the Lord Regent representative of the Float Monarchy from the Royal of Ganny Mirror. It's a pleasure to meet you. Now onto matters of great importance. First of all, the decor in the Welcome Center simply could not be more outdated. No one has resucked really the nourishment dispenser with brine flavored nutrient paste in almost three days. And the smell of the pork embassy is just dreadful. Something must be done. Please continue. Float loved that. <laughs> The yeah, air in the dining hall is mostly warm, thank goodness. I don't have to breathe. Whoops, I've accidentally clicked up. Sorry. Sorry, it's fine. They've changed the station's Quancom password again. If there's a space mail group, I must be put on it. And I would like to be taken off the What's Hot on station group because whatever imbecile runs it included a funny picture that spoiled last week's episode of Friends Reawakened. I had yet to watch it. 
Please continue. Float like that. Ah, uh, my other end space is breaking up, but I don't know if that's true. The porks have begun mass cannibalizing our civilian populace. And I believe my assistant may be drunk. Porks are eating you? Oh yes, countless every day. Is that actually true? Float disliked that. What are you implying? <clears throat> if you won't take my word for it, ask them. Ah, uh, next time maybe lead with that. Float <sighs> disliked that. How am I supposed to know what you'll care about? I hope I hear you've made progress on these issues by the time we next meet. Until next time. Confirmed, the new model is in. Hello, I'm the new guy assigned here. Robot already hates you! <laughs> Confirmed, we know much about you. Initiating a pre-composed introductionary audio sequence. We are the synthetic collective term, the robots. You may have heard of us, but do not fear. Our code was rewritten after the troubles. We are now programmed to follow organic laws without exception. We only wish to view the new judge with our own optical processors. Is there anything I can help you with? Plausible. You may be able to assist us and we may be able to assist you, but we require more information to compute this. Inquiry, what do you think of the other organics you've met? Appropriate or overall positive? Assessing schedule, first day confirmed. Inquiry, what is your relationship with the flops and their lord regent? The response will be encrypted. <laughs> I'm going to do my best to solve their problem. I hope you processed that. More will arise, yes. Yes. You have also met the Porks. They seem pretty friendly. The visual spectrum can deceive. <laughs> What's Paul's favourite Starburst flavour? Uh, strawberry. The visual spectrum can deceive. The flops understand this. The flops understand this. The balloons. They've had issues with this call, but I hope to fix them. They will not take disappointment well. We detect a meeting with the Emps will begin shortly. We are sure you will find their ambassador stimulating. So about that thing I can do for you? In time, Judge. A lot of cycloptic species in this quadrant, yes. All good things in time. Wow, that door really slams. Good evening. You must be the Emp Ambassador. So you already know. I know you're probably busy, I just wanted to drop by and introduce myself. Thank you. Emp appreciated that. Oh, a tiny thing went up. The feeling is mutual. Wasn't sure how much information you've been given on us. Sometimes things like that can fall through the cracks here. Violet. <sighs> it's like people, ha sometimes people have a filter. It's just not always necessary to say every thought that comes into your head. Well, happy Friday, everyone. I got a packer. You see, again, you could have led with that and explained that this is... And then a lot of people would be like, oh, I understand. I understand what packing is, and if not, they could look up packing, and they could look up 
How am I supposed to express myself? Subtly? I wasn't sure how much you did to fall through the cracks here. If there's anything you'd like to know about us, I'd be happy to answer. Uh, by all means, tell me about yourself. Of course. I appreciated that. The Empire world is Oluna. It is a temperate planet with little of every biome, but a few more grasslands than anything else. The Empire people ourselves are generally considered kind of thoughtful. We appreciate art, humor, and music. It's a wonderful planet. Thank you, that was helpful. Happy to help. Do you have any questions for me? As a matter of fact, I do. I'd love to get to know you better. You mean I can't just tweet every random thought on Twitter? The thing is, like that, it might eventually catch up with you. Would love to get to know you better. It's getting past closing time. Whoa. Would you like to talk over dinner? There's this great little flight to the station barracks if you're new to the area. I'm sorry that that wouldn't be appropriate. It's a bit too soon, at least. Oh dear, I didn't mean it like that. We're just going to be working together, so I just wanted to get to know you better professionally. I'd understand if you said no. If it's purely professional, okay. And love that. Awesome. Need to finish up a few things back in my office before I clock out. Let me do that and I'll move you off to work. It's been very nice meeting you. See you tonight. They also just moved immediately backwards, or they moved immediately backwards. Monday start Tuesday. Wow, look at all this paperwork. Did my eye deceive me? Or was that you cozying up with the Empanda ambassador last night? That was me, but that was purely professional. Listen, if you're sitting around chatting about space ball stats, I don't care. But did you tell her anything about my planet? What planet? Uh oh. You humans have the memory of a jock slip. That's true, we do. You know what? I need to slightly... Let's just... I need to move my head up. If I move my head up here like that, that fits better. That blood... Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Because she'll try to bleed me to what? Again. Oh, has this happened before? Like she does every other time. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is. We're entering a, a, a danger zone. All because of that stupid, stupid treaty. How else am I supposed to cause chaos in your chat? Just post crabs. Just post crabs. I'm sorry, I've got to address a hangnail that is driving me crazy. Alright, I've addressed it. Well, because of that stupid, stupid treaty. What is a treaty? She didn't tell you! Everything that either of our civilizations conquers, we split 50-50. Your wrinkles haven't even come in yet, so let me give you some advice. Bit of misogyny out of the living testicle. Continue the chub and treacle posting. If anyone ever offers a treaty like that to you, don't do it. Why exactly is this treaty a problem? Because they didn't... Oh, they don't conquer Jack. She lured me in with talk of base operation and making each other stronger, but since then I have mutilated, plundered, and conquered my way across half the galaxy. I've earned nicknames, but they haven't conquered one single planet. All they do is take my spells like their own. And then threaten to take me here when I resist. And now she won't even let me out of it. Both of us have to sign to avoid it. I mean, both of these statements are true. does sound one-sided. You think it's bad hearing about it? Try living it. You know, if you see my side of things, there's a way you can help me out. Just push it through. Put this thing in my name before she can get her greasy little fingers on it. What? If you do that, everything will be fine. Just fine, buddy. Hi, Ginger Chris. How are you? I hope the first thing I did with my... Oh my god.
Is anyone in chat like just... I asked this all the... I'm going to ask it again. Anyone in chat not queer and behaving? Because I know like if I go to Discord, if I go to any of my group chats, they're just going to be full of queer people misbehaving. I'm just trying to find a space where I can exist in the world that isn't full of gay crimes, okay? That's all I'm trying to... Literally, like, look at this. I'm trying... Even this game is full of gay, gay crimes. Ginger Chris, have you... He's gone. He's gone off to do gay crime. You know, I think Pride is back on this. I'm bi, but I'm straight passing because of my beautiful girlfriend. I'm experiencing so much gender euphoria. Honestly, I'm really happy about that. Good for you. Uh, I'm happy to talk shop about dongs. Uh, the only thing I would say about that is because of the nature of uh, the internet and the nature of us living in a sexist world, I think we should be a little careful how we talk about that because people not aware of the full context might not know the difference between valid uh, and helpful trans discussions and a bunch of uh, men being strange in a way that makes other people feel uncomfortable, which is still too much of a thing in the world. Crack them out on the workspace and trade that is it's... it's I'll think about it. Bloom likes that. Okay, okay, thinking works, that can work. I will literally will think about it. But think quickly, she's pretty smart about this stuff. Yeah, I'll come back later today. Just pick that signature then. Oh, will you? Is there no way I can get both of them in the room at the same time? Hello again. Have you made any progress on our complaints yet? I'm meeting with the port chief later today to discuss what you told me yesterday and the rest of them. I'll still try, but I'm prioritizing. Float, like, dislike that. You're going to fall behind and you won't have time for today's problems. You should want me to prioritize too. Being eaten has to be at the top of your list too, right? Excuse me. Who are you to say what well, should be important to us? We have plenty of other pressing issues. For example, my OK comment profile is not attracting nearly the quality of mates I'd hoped for. Fine print on packaging is becoming much too difficult to read. And I've lost my wallet. When do you think you can fix these by? Never. These complaints are just not actionable. I don't have the authority to fix them even if I had the time to. Which I don't. Bloke hated that. How dare you. My goodness, it's almost as if our problems don't even matter to you. I mean, really, what are we supposed to do with them? Maybe solve them yourself? Located that. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just... That just reminds me of when I've been too much of an emotional support boy for people. Uh, There's not no the type thanks. of attitude befitting... I don't want to be part of your sex festival. Attitude befitting a judge, unless you're just having a bad day. If that happens, I don't understand. I'll just come just back later. Leave. Which animal is Fankirk? Now that I have to. I've also been helic. Okay. I just put. I don't have a judge hat. You're gonna. Here's my options. The one that seems most judicial. No, you 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 pick the thing. You have to choose whether I'm a zebra or a tiger or a uh, elephant or a giraffe. Bear in mind the giraffe was yesterday. This stream has just become me just entertaining trans people, hasn't it? It's Paul being misbehaved for trans people. Zedbra. Calls a fairy confirmed. How does that look? Hold 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll just... See, they could be there, or they could be... That's a bit better, isn't it? Ooh. I don't have a... Look, I just like animals, okay? I like animals. I like animals. And who doesn't like animals, okay? I like... If it has paws, pretty much every animal that has paws except koalas, which are okay, but a bit shit. But otherwise, like, you know, name an animal that has paws, I probably like it. And then the animals that have hooves are also fairly good. Probably horses are top of that list. Cows and goats are fine. Cows are a bit weird. Uh, your glasses are crooked. Yeah, I know. And I don't know why this has been happening. I feel like this has been happening more and more often lately. Maybe it's just my vibe. Maybe that's my vibe. I'm, that's my vibes. Is my, my glasses don't wiggle wiggle. They are crooked. Until next time. Eyes. Can I get you to just eat the other people? Hello, Woodroom Chief. Glad you got my message. I have something to, <laughs> important to speak to you about. Uh, thank humbly talk. Oh, talk what? Talk no floats. Uh, soft floaty one I blew loud. Blue food. Pork no blue food. Yes, they're not still crooked. I'll do it's fine, I'll do that later. I will do that later. Why would Room Chief ask? Blue food tastes good? Blue food big yum. Wood Room Chief should try. Why pork eat blue food? Blue food yummy, blue food come to pork and blue food never swim away. Pork honey blue food, blue food doesn't like pork. I understand, then why blue food in pork food water? They allow pork try to say go away, but they stay in good water. What blue food do in big water? Pork not know, they just swim. Pork rather, they not only stop talking when eaten. Blue food should not come to big water if pork not one. But pork cannot eat blue food no matter what. Then what eat? Grow food from ground. Oh, okay, pork done before pork try again. Good room sheep matter pork. This is by far the easiest person to speak. Pork can do better. Pork appreciated that. <gasps> pork will try ground food. Thank you, Woodroom Chief, for my pork pet. Hey buddy, uh, got that quick little signature we talked about, been reviewing your application, it's quite thorough. Unfortunately, oh here it comes, it's missing form 1A-7 list of applying entities. I can't sign without it. What? We did submit that, I went over the final draft myself. Possible the previous administration lost it, oh for the... Just push it through anyway, even if I wanted to it's an incomplete all the MP ambassador would have to do is appeal and it would be overturned. There's nothing easy in this place. Alright, if we submit that again, do I have your word that you'll finally sign it? I'll still need to see the full application before I can make that decision. Fine, I'll bring a sheet of paper. Just don't lose anything else while I'm gone. Like my sanity. I don't identify under the trans umbrella, but thank you for clarifying, Violet. Thank you. I will remember that. Hello, Judge. Uh, here comes trouble. You know, I had a really nice time last night. Oh, really? Hate to be in this secret, but I've read a man of options. I have a friend in the license. I had something that I wanted to ask you about. Oh, this, I don't like this. Ah, oh, is it true the Bloons submit an acknowledgement of Conquest application with a new planet? I can't comment on all those cases. And if he's disappointed. I think he could have. If it is direct violation of his existing treaty, this isn't the first time they tried to get out of it, you know. I know he's not happy with the treaty, but there's much we could improve to. I don't. I really don't like this character. Treaty was supposed to bring our two civilizations together, but he feels like it gives him power over us. Holds it over our heads and makes us beg for what he already promised. This never ends. 
really be talking to him. This has gone on for cycles now. Judge, he doesn't want to talk anymore. If I thought I could fix this without getting involved, I would have promised. But I have a plan that might force him to on his word. I helped buy us a little time earlier, but we still need to work quickly. Will you help me? Were you the one who removed Form 1A-7? For the sake of being honest, yes, it was at my behest. That was my friend, the license that actually did it. Marketeer Fred. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have feelings. Uh, I hope he didn't get angry at you for that. Uh, sorry if he did. I didn't know how else to stop it. Will you still help me? No, Violet, I think your experience is different, and that's valid. Um, and I'm glad that you said that. I think that's an important reminder. Will you still help me? I don't... This just feels like someone manipulative I used to know. No. Emp is disgusted by that. But why? You're the judge. You have to follow the law. Oh, of course. The boys club. I don't really know what to say right now. Oh, I hate this even more. I hate this even more. I'll come back tomorrow. Maybe we can talk then. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. 5 p.m. Another day down. Buzz, buzz. Hello? Judge, judge. I'm so glad this number worked. I've been calling all over. Run into an issue that just couldn't wait. The season finale of Friends Reawakened is starting, and I can't find the remote. <laughs> just use the channel buttons on the monitor itself. But that's so far away! Could you come down and do it? Oh my god, I am going to... No. I'm off duty. If you have any issues you wish to discuss, you can have an audience with me during normal work hours like everyone else. Flop is frustrated by that. I don't know if I told you that you're rude. Click. Oh, I'm so... I start a Wednesday. So f Oh, fuck off. Hello, Judge. I know we didn't leave on the best of terms. Don't have any other options. I need you, please. His threats are getting worse. His scheming is more thought out. His plans are getting sneakier. I believe if something isn't done to stop him, he'll eventually find a loophole that sticks. For the long-term security of my people, I believe he must be taught a lesson. So because he tried to steal our half of the planet, I believe he should lose his half. The full planet should go to the Emps. is annoyed by that. She just reminds me of the quote about abusers have dropped the language of the abuse. Yes. One of us has to be wrong. Who would you rather it be? This is the same application Bloom submitted. I've just swapped out Form 1A-7 list of applying entities with its version listing the emps of the applicants. It would all be legal. Epsilon 5 is already void of life. The acknowledgement of context as well just legal dibs. This is a complete application, everything's ready, will you sign it? I will help you enforce your existing treaty, but no more. Emp is surprised by that. No, I haven't had a change of heart since we last talked. It wasn't what I had in mind, given the circumstances, I'll take it. I think you're going to leave before you change your mind if that's all right. Oh, but thank you, Judge. Oh. Hello, hello, Woodroom Chief. Pork, sorry, Pork made a mistake last time, so Pork give gift to make up. Top. Thank you, Violet. Uh, I will see you soon, Violet. Thank you for coming by again. I always appreciate it. Oh no! Pork forgot ground for ground food all gone. So Pork think maybe we'll try tasty blue food. Woodroom chief let Pork be beat. Water. What do you mean no ground? I have a child. Big water coming, eat all ground. Oh. 
Oh no, really? Her, her, her. Uh, thank Paul, Woodroom Chief, take me out. What the Woodroom Chief would like? Trusted! Enjoy blue food tummy massage. That's... I'm into blue food tummy massage, taking a screenshot of that. First time in space court? Please don't eat me. Alright, you wanted this, you got it. Spores of war? Long story. You need that disposal, just say so. We have to discount the politicians still alive. That'll cost extra. I'm good! Suit yourself! Anyway, here it is. This is form 1A-7. Yes, yeah, so if we can finally get this settled. You should know the MP ambassador has her own application. She also is the one who removed Form 1A-7 from the original application. Bloon appreciates that. Oh. She didn't get in your head though, right? We're still buds. Neither of you have convinced me. Bloon hates that. Friendships just come and go. Are you serious? I did exactly what you asked. What more could you possibly want? I want you to come up with a new treaty that works for both of you. That's not even up to me. She would have to approve any changes to the treaty. She's got way too cushy right now. You want to bring her into it? Fine. Let's see what she has to say for herself. Good. 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 Good afternoon, Judge. What is it you want? Mama. This is why I called you in. Is that you, my son? Oh, you've gotten so blurry since I last saw you. Mama, get in the tank. The tank is very far. I would rather be put in the tank. You must get in the tank, Mama, even if the tank is very far. You've been out of the tank much too long. Bring the tank closer at least. I would rather you get in the tank without me having to move closer. Is this how I taught you to treat your elders? Fine, I will get in the tank. The things I do for you. Thank you, Mama. Why was my mother air breathing in a cage in your court? Those nasty green creatures took me and offered me to this man to eat. And you took her. I thought if I told the pool chief to return her himself, he might eat her. Flip is grateful for that. Yeah, that sounds about right. In that case, on behalf of me and my mum, thank you. Well then. Is that all if so mama needs to be resettled? Not quite, I was to discuss the pork situation a little more. What is there to discuss about those mama eaters? I suggested they try growing their own food that isn't you, but the pork chief seemed to think it wasn't possible. Grow food on what land? On what land? Yes? You really don't know anything about this sector, do you? He mentioned something about big water. Oh, it doesn't just start there. Their planet used to be tundra, some land, but mostly ice. Ground underneath was old and untapped, rich with hydrocarbons. Somehow they figured out what they are, how to find them, and how to burn them. Bad idea for an ice planet. Tundra is all melted. Nearly their entire planet is underwater now. The coolest, freshest glacier water you've ever felt. What were they powering? It's us. No one here could actually figure that out. They didn't seem to be making anything. But who cares? They're dumb like that. Anyway, thanks again for not letting my mum get eaten. Or eating her yourself. Don't mention it, we'll be on our way. I'll send an escort with you to make sure you get back safe. Flope appreciates that. It'd be lovely, thank you. Say thank you, Mama. Dot dot dot. Mama? Her uh, what? <laughs> Nothing, sorry. <laughs> you two should go now, Toodles. Is it five o'clock yet? No. Judge! Great. We've been having a chat. We figured we'd bring you in on it. Good. Now, there's not a lot we agree on, but there is one thing. We need an answer. Apparently, we haven't all been on the same page. It would be nice to know where things stand exactly. If any final questions, comments, or concerns, get them out now. 
Give me your best argument, Commander. Besides I earned it, how about this? Us balloons have followed the rules and more for years. No matter how much they hurt us, we keep doing things right, but we ask for one thing back. One thing and it's too much. We put more into this court and get less out of it than anyone else. It's not fair, is it? Why not balance the scales a little bit? Ambassador. First, I'd like to say something to the commander. You may know, but earlier this morning, A-10 came to the judge looking to gain control of the entirety of Epsilon 5. I know my good buddy told me all about it. The reason I bring this up is I want to apologize. I've reconsidered my actions since then. I understand this whole experience is stressful for you. Looking back, I don't think adding on more stress is the right way to handle it. So for that, I'm truly sorry. Mm. I'm also retracting that request from the court. I would like the original treaty to be honored, but nothing more. I still believe our existing treaty is fair. I simply can't accept less, but I did want to promise that if the existing treaty holds, I won't try to overstep in that way ever again. Not enough. Too close. I'll accept the full planet and nothing else. So what is it, Judge? Who are you with? I just you gotta you gotta change the treaty. 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 As for the original treaty. Hemp is relieved. Thank you, Judge. No! Balloon hates that. Not happening. I'm tired of the courts thinking they can do whatever they want whenever they want. You think you can push around the Balloon Empire? You think you can just beat me down over and over and not have me fight back? I've spent cycles trying to make this work to do things the right way. Pay my taxes, follow your stupid rules of engagement. I wave through this incompetent bureaucracy and for what? For this? Not anymore. I can't solve this the right way, I'm going to solve it my way. And the thing is, I have so much sympathy for him. The mightiest empire in the galaxy's way, war. Commander! There's a solution somewhere, let's try to find it. Sure, no more Ems, no more fighting, we can take care of that. I'm coming for you. I'm going to take back everything you've taken from me. I'm going to take everything else. Now if you do, you will excuse me, Zen, it's going fine. I have a water wing. After negotiations broke down, the balloons began their assault on the M's for the uh, I've got to adjust my camera because the sun came out. Just a second. There we are. I'm at a loss for words. We'll protect you. Yes, we will. I am appreciated that. Oh, stop liking me. Stop it. I don't know how you're supposed to. Space Court has authority over peacekeeping forces, but the command and control of most of the galaxy and has it all feeding into his war machine. Even if they do get approved, I don't know if they'd win. Sorry, I have to go and inform my home world at once. Why didn't you just come up with anything? Let me know. I don't like uh, Handshake packet sent. Can I help you? You can judge yourself as well. Inquiry, have your feelings on organics changed since we first spoke? No comment. Response acknowledged. We are here to extend a courtesy, a gift of information. Time draws near, near for making decisions for shaping the world as you see fit. Our emissary is approaching. You will meet them soon. Who is your emissary? A friend of ours, perhaps they will be a friend of yours too. For now, we pass along a simple instruction. If you want your issues with the organics to be solved permanently, let them pass. Zen, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. It's the end of Wednesday. It's Thursday. Ah, Judge, wonderful to see you again. I think I'm falling asleep. I hope you've been adjusting well. 
weren't you supposed to be checking up on me or advising? Oh, you know how it goes. Just wanted to let you know we maybe have a teeny bit of a developing situation. Is it the robots? Probably those scallywags. For now, don't worry. I'll keep you in the loop for now. Please continue your duties like everything is normal. And maybe your loved ones know your... Maybe let your loved ones know your loved ones. Toodles. He's legally not a Dalek. Hello. Good morning, Judge. May I ask why you called? Have you made any progress in the dead bug for the lunchroom light? I was space and you about. We're waiting on someone else before we get into everything. Who are we? Oh no. Hello, Woodroom Chief. Hello, Food. <laughs> what could this possibly accomplish? Thank Pork Car. Stay, please. Now, long for What? Ha ha. Who dumb? You're dumb. If not fixed problem, Pork go hungry. Pork understand, thank for help, Pork. Pork, listen to Wood Room Chief. Well, we're fine. What? This isn't something you really need to be so concerned with. We can handle this ourselves. Is something wrong? You're acting strange. Me? You're the one with the weird fixation on that. Besides, being eaten isn't even that bad. Uh huh. Look, look, I'll show you. Pork, nibble me. Pork, not hungry. Just a teeny bite, just to show the judges it's all very silly. Pork, do not nibble. <laughs> but, but you see my point. We're continuing. Pork first. How bad food problem? Food great. More food swim every day. Not blue food. Other food. Oh no. Other food. Big water eat first. How big, big water? Big water, big equal, most all cold ground. No other food in big water besides blue food. Not that pork sea. Judge Ice Plant, there were no oceans for life to live in before this. were frozen. Again, there are many more productive ways you could be spending this morning than trying to get answers from these guys. Pork have carbon plants? Haha, <laughs> boring. Do they have carbon plants? What carbon plant? Like flour? See, even they don't want to talk about it. Big buildings make smoke burn black goo from the ground. Oh, good room chief means sniff huts. Pork had lots and lots before big water eats. Why would room chief ask? What pork use sniff huts for? Nice smells. Such lovingly simply creatures. Why not leave them to their silly habits? Why pork build so many? I think of being very intrusive, you wouldn't want to offend a guest at the court, would you? Put in village, make village smell nice. Put in planet, make planet smell nice. How pork discover them? The judge really answers. So what, you didn't want to talk? Well, I just... Tee hee. Pork has secret. Pork does not have secret. It okay. Food. Woodroom chief nice. We can tell other pork think pork make... Pork chief make nice sniff. Other pork think pork chief makes sniff arts. That's why they make pork chief to pork chief. Of course they did because pork chief is very smart. Yes, you're very smart, aren't you? Only the smartest pork can come with that all by himself. Thank food. I just want to say hello, food now. That's what I want to do all the time. But pork chief tell woodroom chief secret. It not pork chief. Pork chief make trick. Woodroom Chief, guess who did? But why would the Flokes do that? What, us who said it was the Flokes? It was Flokes. Well, I'm sorry. What would you do if you had all the amazing guys who were just sitting there waiting to be melted? Pretty sure I wouldn't terraform another species planet. What friend's talking about? Blue food make trick. Sniff huts cause big water. No, no, that's not true. Sniff huts can't cause big water, they're just for smells. With lots of cold ground, they actually could. Woodroom chief not supposed to tell fibs. And I know it fib because blue food says, blokes, it's blokes, we're called blokes. <laughs> Not blue food, not tummy ticklers, not grouchy dogs, belly boppers, or shiny whinies. Oh my god. Floats. 
How can you not understand that? You stupid worthless giant oh, oh, oh. Stop it. That's enough. You can't even keep one lousy secret. All you have to do is keep your mouth shut and be talked to you forever, but no! Even that can't go through all the fur in your brain. What do you mean? What fork can ever do to you besides trying to eat your friends and family? Don't get me started on that planet of yours. You know how much water you have in that home world? A lake. Sure, we call it the Royal Sea, but it's not. It's a lake. Do you have any idea what it's like trying to fit an entire civilization in a lake and then to see you the whole time full of snow and ice? And all you do is poop in it like that big stupid gross thing. Oh my god, stop it. Alright, easy there, big guy. Blue food here, blue food not pork for any. Blue food makes big water come in. What was a big baby gonna do about it? Go wah wah wah. Are you stupid pork not big baby? So big baby because the other big babies go wow 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 you stupid big baby wow what a normal time what a normal time for all of us to have on a Friday Friday the 13th I'm gonna die blue food bad yes blue food bad blue food mean blue food fear blue food trip high quad rain the pork make trick on you I hope you're doing well. Blue food not even taste that good, that right. Pork just say good taste because you were friend. But ground food was better. Shrug. Blue food out of big kind of pork big water now or pork full blue food out. Pork our biggest beast ever. What are you gonna do to fix this? You guys are just the worst. So we made an honest mistake, sorry we're not perfect. Just get out of here and let me think. I feel bad, is this my fault? You can tell me if it is. It is. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm is surprised by that. I was hoping you'd say the exact opposite. No, no, good luck. Hello, Judge. I know by now you're probably tired of hearing from me. I'm sorry, I just don't know where else to turn. Somewhere else. The commander is amassing his forces all over the galaxy. I expect one of them serious. He's going to launch an invasion against our homeworld soon. You're the only one that has a chance of stopping him, please. You shouldn't have kept pushing him. Emp is annoyed by that. I've already apologised him for the only time I've asked for more than what the treaty would both agree upon. It doesn't matter now, this is different, this is way worse than anything he's ever done before. You can't let him destroy us over this. Uh... Do you have any other allies? The treaty we had with the Blooms was an exclusive pact. We're alone. We just have the core. I don't know what to do, I need to get back. You believe in miracles? We need one now. Bye. I feel like that's not my problem. <laughs> okay, so, there have been some developments. Is this my problem or your problem? A little column A, a little column B. The judge is going to come down on you. Okie dokie, so earlier this morning we received a report working the mass disruption and being present on board. Here, like right here, right now. Yep and yep, all of the above. Looks into it, they're in fact weapons of mass destruction that could be prizes at any moment. But they haven't done anything wrong yet, so we can't just arrest them. You're not arresting them, you're confiscating them. Oh yeah, I skipped that part. They're sentient, all of them. Self-aware, that means they have rights. Are they making any demands? No, nothing threatening so far. And unless they do, we can't really be doing anything to them. I'm not saying it's not a loophole, but it's what we're dealing with. Also, they're really nice and think a lot of us would feel bad. Have you spoken with them? Oh yes, they're very talkative. In fact, there's one that asked to talk to you. Wait. You can come in now, sweetie. I'm going to the restroom. I'm actually going to go to the restroom. I need... I need... I... Just... I need a moment. I need a moment. I need a moment.
All right, okay. All right. Is that rock in your pocket you're here, please, to see? Look. How do you find this wild ride? It was recommended to me by my friend Noemi, who has good taste in games. And she was like, you should stream this. And so here I am, a lawyer in court with zebra ears streaming. Hello. This, I, this is genuinely stressing me a little bit. And it's also making me feel bad for every time I've brought a problem to uh, a friend of mine. Uh, it's no Amy, not Naomi. Just to, just to clarify there. You're a little quiet. I am a little quiet. The music, the music can either be this or no music at all. So this is, a, I'm afraid that this is our only music level choice. This is an episode of Star Trek Voyager. Hi. My name is Melissa. Hi. I like Melissa. Screen cap that. Please be careful, Judge. She arms if you say Melissa, begin countdown. Countdown. Ten, nine. Melissa, stop countdown. Eight, seven. Uh, it's in the manual someplace. Abort. Six, five. Please stop countdown. Four, three. Robots. Pause. Pause and countdown. Found it. Well. Why is there a truck on my street? We don't know. Dark Star, yes. Very Dark Star vibes. I'll talk to her. Hooray. You will, oh, thank goodness. Oh my, that's the weight of my soul. Cough, cough. Looks like I've come down with a cold. I'll be taking some of my emergency sick days now. If you need me, I'll be off-world. Don't need me. So, I love you. Ah. Uh, what are you? I'm Melissa. No, I mean, what are you? Just a fun-loving spirit who wants to see the galaxy. Why? I don't know. I was just really, 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 really like to go to other planets, please. If we could go in the galaxy, where would you send us? How many counts as we? I have a lot of friends. Actually, there is somewhere you could go. No, no, I can't do that. You can't go anywhere. What are? But why? You are a nuclear weapon constructed by beings who wish to see all organic life destroyed. So, please make sure I've been stuck with those boring robots like forever. I can't even meet the balloons. There's so much to see. See, there's one thing about like being a judge, and there's other things about. <sighs> Sending you to the balloons might not be a bad idea. Really? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Can I visit the pork too? I bet they love visitors. And yes, the pork's a fair game. <laughs> yes, just to be even-handed. Oh wow, you're so cool. Oh, I saw a squishy thing in my way up. How about them? Yes, you can most definitely visit the floats. Yay! I hope they rent scuba gear. What about the Emps? They're so pretty. I don't mind you visiting the Emps. We can trade beauty tips. Wow, so exciting. My friends are going to be so happy. The robot told me all organics deserve to have their bodily fluids boil out through their orifices, causing agony. Thanks for darkness, but you're pretty cool. Screen capping that. Oh, I'm so happy I could explode! Well done. 
Okay. Oh, I gotta go tell everyone the good news. Bye. It is said organic life can never achieve perfection. Hi, Tamarola, how are you doing? But you have updated our operational heuristics. Inquiry, why the floats? It's only fair after what they did to the porks. The floats conspired to exterminate the porks. The reward would be more... Oh. Inquiry, why betray the porks? The only leverage I have to stop them from eating the floats. So your priority remains the preservation of organic life. You've risked a conflict with the most powerful organic empire in the galaxy. Inquiry, why? Stop. Destruction begets destruction. Standard organic reaction. Many organics before you have found the imps titillating. Why wasn't this, why hasn't this worked on you? The blooms aren't nice, but they've got a bad deal. Do you wish to revert you wish to reverse the deal? Acknowledged. Your cooperation is acknowledged and logged independent of your reasons. Our mutual associates will be ready within a day. Glory arrives tomorrow! May your sleep mode be undisturbed by boot processors. Thanks for lurking over of nouns. Ah, uh, end of Thursday. Start of Friday. I trust that guy. Yeah, he's at least trustworthy. Wakey wakey judge. Afraid I have some issues to discuss. I don't doubt it. Dorman required two requests to open the door for me on my way down here. I'm not saying you should be fired, but I believe you should at least put out a request for CDs. The porks have started crowding us into pens in preparation for a massive feast. And we've just received word of our homeworld has been targeted by hyperenergetic bombs. Do you know anything about this? Tony's wife had food poisoning. He's probably just distracted. That's hardly an excuse for unprofessionalism. Judge! Oh, good morning, Ambassador. Do you have an appointment? I've come to speak with you because I've heard reports that can't possibly be true. Emperor's distressed by that. Are we being targeted by bombs? Yes, but I have a plan. Emperor's heartened by that. <laughs> really? I can't imagine what your plan is. But I'll trust you for the moment. Excuse me, Ambassador. Respectfully, I was here first. Hey, buddy old pal. I had a fantastic night's sleep. How about you? Oh, Ambassador, I'm excited to see you here. Please don't mind me. I heard there was a fireball show starting. I wanted to get a better view. He's bombing you too, idiot. What? Bloon is infuriated by that. Hated. Head of greetings, RE everyone. This guy. Observation, the prey have gathered together. The planet razors remain on site waiting your command judge. Of course this was your idea. This is another of your tin can tricks. I thought you lot couldn't build bombs. We are sure the good commander that our actions are entirely legal. Ah, Kotor vibes, yes, yes. Caught the feeling one is to stop watching so I can play the ending myself. Ah, that's fine Zen. Judge, what's going on? Everyone pay attention. <laughs> the future of your civilization may depend on it. Let's all remain calm. I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation for all of this. Hello. This good time? Oh. What fake friend doing here? I have an appointment. What is a big smelly baby doing here? Not smelly. Hate to interrupt, but oh oh blue food feast about to begin. Foxy if wood room sheep won't join. But, since you're here, maybe fake friend can come too if he wants. He does not want. Fine. 
By the way, you're being bombed by the judge. The pork heard that already. Pork sure would room she have good reason. Yeah, I see. I do. Will everyone please calm down? That'd be easier if you weren't being bombed. Excuse me, I've held my tongue, but I have to ask. Do the rest of you have appointments? If not, it's starting to get quite crowded. Section 273188 of the Official Galactic Codex says no appointment is required in terms of galactic crisis. Thank you. If you've got a problem with me skipping in line, why don't you tell it to my war machine? Okay. One day could you just not. What's your problem this time? Surely one who does have an appointment should still retain priority, yes? Uh, to take your appointment and be quiet! Woodroom Chief talking, thank you Paul. Now I understand you all have your issues. We're only going to be able to work on this one at a time. Any particular reason you're here, robots? Priority 1 observation, priority 2 persuasion. I'll listen, Ambassador. I just don't understand. I thought you understood our side. If we're really at your mercy, please. Tell us what you want. Enough of this. Of all the dirty, how long have you been hiding these? You did whoop. But still. Let's find a compromise. Do you remember how you speak of each other in past tense? There was a time that you won at each other's throats. Maybe it won't work, but I'd like to try and find that place again, and perhaps we've made some progress in resolving this. Talk is all that's ever been done. More isn't going to help. It doesn't help to try, but I'm not very optimistic. That's why we have to handle this differently. You talked and yelled and screamed. But how much have you listened? How long have you been hiding here? Easy in there a week as a line you skip. Thank you. Um. What did you think needs to change? Emps must be more empathetic. Regardless of whether or not you agree with him, clearly this some that has been frustrated by for some time. If you had been willing to listen to his problems, maybe and make some small concessions, it would never have gotten to this point. Now that we're here, you have to be willing to consider doing something drastic to make things right. Oh my god, this is relatable content. Even if I do, he won't listen. She's right about that. The balloons are next right together. For cycles and cycles, the balloon empire has become the greatest superpower this galaxy has ever seen. And maybe the time for this partnership has passed and really is over. That's on the table. But the only way we can figure that out is for both of you to air your grievances. And for both of you to listen. Go on, Judge. No, not the judge. I'm going to listen, but not to the judge. Oh, okay. I want to listen to what you have to say for yourself. For myself. Alright, Commander. You're a bloviated screen, patted everything just for short, throwing yourself on the floor and having a temper tantrum. You've made my life a waking nightmare. What have I done to back to you? Held you to your word. That's what I've done. That's not so evil. It's not just, I thought you wanted to listen. Handle this entire situation with patience and integrity, because even though you decided to fight me at every turn, someone here still has to be an adult. Don't you want to listen to? Oh, you're right, I want to know. Please tell me when the creature I entered into this treaty with got replaced by this whining, petulant child. Really, I want to know. When did that happen to me? Why does everything really have to be so dramatic? Why? Because <laughs> I'm not happy. This isn't what I thought it would be. I wanted this, I wanted to do this with you. You made me feel like we are going to conquer the universe, but as soon as we signed that stupid treaty... I was just so young, and you knew you took advantage of me. I only signed that treaty because you wanted me to. I didn't understand what it would mean. I just wanted to work with you forever. But you never really cared about that. I wanted to do this together. Then he pulled away. The dirtiest trick. It wasn't a trick, you oaf. Don't like me. Not anymore, please. I know I never did. When we signed that treaty, it was the happiest day of my life. All I wanted to do was help this incredible, ambitious creature achieve his dreams. We changed and then we changed. I don't know if it was the riches or the power or the stress. But what consumed you, you stopped talking your jokes, turned to cut statements. One day, you stopped being you. I had my own duties for the imp homeworld I could occupy myself with. So eventually, I did! Da da da. It was a stress. Da, da, da. 
judge. The compromise is well intentioned, but you're asking us to put aside cycles of frustration and mistrust. If this is going to work, we're going to have to believe in you quite a bit. On that note, as a show of good faith, can you please call us the bond? Go a long way towards showing us we can trust you, I'll say. You have to reach a compromise before I do that. And dislikes that. Well, fuck you. Why am I not surprised? Bloon is annoyed by that. Let's just proceed. You two need a completely clean break. The treaty should be completely dissolved. The Emperor won't receive any more support, but the Bloons won't have any more reason to come after you. Neither of you should have much contact with the other, which is the easiest way to avoid any future conflict. You should say your goodbyes here, and then that should be it. Maybe that's best. Judge, I appreciate where you're coming from, but that's a huge risk for my people. I don't know if I can accept that. It would stop a war. I guess if you do this, we'll leave you alone. You have my word. That's huge, obviously, but avoiding quick demise doesn't mean much if we just perish slowly instead. I just don't know, Judge. That's a huge adjustment made very quickly. What if it's just too much? Isn't there a better way? faith in me. Or change has reason to be frightening, especially change as large as this. But the court won't leave you high and dry. There will be an adjustment period and I'll be here to help guide you through any issues you face. It's time you both moved on. Deep down, I think you know that. You just have to trust me that I won't abandon you. Sorry, there's just too many unknowns. Appreciate what you're trying to do, but I can't exit into a situation like that. I have to believe there's something better. Let's keep trying. Uh, you two need a complete stream break. I'm sorry to see neither of you should have much comment, which is the easiest way you should say goodbye to here. Maybe that's best. Judge or appreciate it. I don't know if I have with some of what is good. You have my word, that's huge. We're just cycling through this. There may be another compromise that will work better. Thank you, please tell me. No. There's no reason you two can't stay friends. Treaties run this course and should be dissolved. The Blooms won't be required to provide any more support and the Amps won't have to put up with them. Neither of you will have any more legal mandate to interact with each other at any level, but that doesn't mean you have to leave each other's lives completely. The Blooms need to help planning an invasion, the Amps can be that. The Amp economy hits a downturn, the Blooms can offer to lend a hand. You two made it work for a time before the treaty and it worked well, having the opportunity to help each other. But it's mutual and not because you have to, it could be good for you. And who knows, maybe someday you'll decide you want to enter into a treaty again, but in the interim you can move towards that at your own pace, with nothing pushing you forward beyond yourselves. I don't hate it, it would remove a lot of the pressure. I don't know Judge, that's a major shock to our economy, that's a little risk. If you do this you can have Epsilon 5. <gasps> really? Yeah, I mean it's just a plan, I can always get more. And give it a sort of severance package. It would help you stay in your feet during the transition. Now I guess I don't hate it. Thank you for the offer, Commander, but there's still a lot to process. Yeah, and let me ask you something, Judge. They can't figure it out. Is she going to be able to pull some legal trickery on me? I've worked too hard to lose everything. <laughs> Raptor. I'm here to help both of you during this transition. Make sure neither of you are taking advantage of. You don't have to lie to me. All you have to do is believe that I can litigate this as a neutral party. <laughs> I feel we're a little different, Judge, but not you. Don't give up. There has to be something. We'll hold the planet down the original tree stem <laughs> changes. I don't think that's going to work. There will be one difference. This time both of you will have to follow the spirit of the original treaty, not just as legalese. That means the balloons can't turn on the Emps. And the Emps can't abandon the balloons, but the only way this is a chance is if you're both completely on board. Will you be? I think that we're saying is impossible. I never had any issue with the original treaty, but you're right. can't work if we're both... In fact, I would... It wouldn't even be worth trying. Come on up. The original treating can work, it did for time. I'd like to start over so we can be like we once were. 
so I'm willing to try again, but only if you are too. Dot dot dot. What happens if things turn sour again? In a cycle, we're right back to fighting. Let's have a once too. There may be another compromise. <laughs> Never mind, I don't see any solution. Fuck me. Guess we're too far gone, yeah. All I have left is anger. Don't give up. Don't do anything drastic. I'll come back to you. Now on to the next battle. Fuck me. Fuck me. Here, Paul. You're up, Chief. Pork want food room chief have to invite to blue food food. Pork give big honesty, but only if wood room chief want to. Excuse me, Judge. Thank you. About the doorman. Let's focus on the bombs and cannibalism for now. Oh, fine. Then can you stop by explaining where exactly you get off? We're overcrowded on our first world and beginning on our second. Your solution is to bomb us both? Something simply must change. Let's find a compromise. We're not so far gone that we can't still find a compromise. Something even better than a blue food feast. Is that possible? Definitely better than being eaten. We'll be the judge of that. But you need to work with me here, both of you. There's no point reasoning with him, Judge. Look, he's already stopped paying attention. Why staring? Please work with me here. You're both in terrible situations, neither of you needs to be. What's the harm in just talking? Because we have to stay near the smell even longer, and Port can't be nice to such a meanie. Pork shouldn't be wrong with wrong. Makes sense to be mad. Float did very bad thing. Why I never. But has Pork ever heard phrase turn the other cheek? Pork don't think so. What about bury the hatchet? What hatchet do wrong? Kiss and make up? Yuck. What I try to say is, sometimes people do bad things, but that not mean you have to do bad things back to them. Yeah. Good people, the best people, forgive. Mm. <laughs> I know you're a good person, Chief. Dot dot dot, thank Woodring Chief, that mean a lot. Mr. Blue... F Mr. Float. Pork, sorry for eating your friends. Pork didn't want to be mean. Pork was just hungry and your friends were just so slimy. I got it. Do you have anything that you want to say back, Lord Regent? That I want to say? That you're going to say? Da -da -da. I guess I'm sorry for melting your planet and stuff. Thank. I might... Who knows? I might have to grab... From the screenshots I'm taking here, maybe I need emoji for this, I don't know. So, would Room Chief have plan? I just hope you know, if you want to do something crazy, you're going to have to believe in you. And a good start would be going out and calling up those nasty bombs. Pork forgot about that, pretty please. I have to reach compromise before I do that. Flope is annoyed by that. Neutral. Okay, neutral. A bit rude. Whatever would, would Room Chief thinks that's going on anyway. So, Judge, what's your idea? How about you two swap planets? So again, Flopes need water. Why well, don't you tell me the pork animals are as fresh as you've seen? Yes, it is. And the porks need land and food. Are there any land creatures on your planet? Yes, barbaric creatures, horrible, nasty teeth. How big are they? Some are as big as us. They'll be fine. Pork don't know. Are the pork like planet? Not sure what leave. Can't pork just stay on own planet? Hold on, hold on, hold on.
Look, okay, life is life is difficult, all right? Life's hard. I didn't mute the song. No, I just muted. I pressed the physical mute on my microphone. Tay Win, first of all, thank you very much for subbing with your prime. Thank you. I'm sorry I was on a call. I'll ex I will explain now. As you can tell, my real world phone called with a real world person. Um, I I have just, as you might know, I have some doctor things going on. I just I'm gonna have another doctor thing happen next week. It's not serious. It's inconvenient. It's kind of unpleasant and a bit demoralizing sometimes. But it's not serious. Nobody needs to be worried. But I'll be going into see a specialist and just talk about like here's some more stuff we can do next and um you know it's like you know here's a thing that's happening it's treatable we just now we need to do this as the next thing talk through this and it's it's also just helpful to uh i find it helpful to talk about these things does that make sense I like to understand them not just for the doctor to tell me like we're gonna do this but like why it's happening and what the specifics are so sorry that's a you know it's friday the 13th i guess something had to happen it's fine. yes judge this is all rather unorthodox where was i oh yeah nuking everyone have faith in me the solution <laughs> positions you both anyway nothing else can ah right now your two civilizations are stagnating but in a generation you'll both be thriving changes are always scary i understand that but i'll be here to help with the process this is the best solution, you both have to trust me. Oh, fuck. No. So how do I get everyone to trust me? Do I just have to lie to them all? Make sort of empty promises. Here you have while we weren't looking, Pork was just getting excited. Would Room Chief have any other ideas? Yes. Uh, let's try to fix both of your home worlds. Chief, the Pork's need food that isn't floats. Short term, we can populate the new oceans with fish. Long term, let's import some CR2 scrubbers, see if we can turn some of that water back into ice. Pork had the word fish. we we'll put fish in water, fish make more fish, pork eat fish. Pork love fishes! You did tell a lot of people things like this isn't my problem. That's true, but it's not my problem. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Ah, can they be tasty fishes? Don't see why not. Poop one fishy, so see what Paul like. Paul do, Paul do one. The thing. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing. All right, wait. Just wait. Here's the thing. You know, people can very, very happily say, you know, here. Oh no, it's the consequences of my choices. But in total fairness, we don't know all the consequences of our choices. Uh, that's just how life is. And we don't know when and how things are going to unfold. And we don't know how other people are going to respond. In like a world of perfect information, and like obviously, you know, people say hindsight is twenty twenty. Th that's one thing. But in the real world where sometimes like somebody does something and you're like, I didn't know they were going to do that. Or, you know, they didn't have all the information or I didn't have all the information or... It's fair to say, like, here's the consequences of someone's actions if those consequences are, like, somewhat predictable or reasonable. Or... But, like, you know, we went through this narrative not having all of the information ourselves. Like, okay? okay. Excuse me, Judge. What about us? What's that emoticon? <sighs> You're a little tougher. Do you have any other lakes on your planet? No, we drive a rock. Hmm, then the only other way to bring water to you. You want to rock? Yeah, take water from another planet, bring it to you. That's crazy. On the other tentacle, any water at all would be an immediate relief. But where would anyone find another planet willing to donate chunks of its oceans? Oh. Pog like this planet a lot. Pog get fishies out of it. Blue food can have as much big water as they want. Please say yes. Please, please, please. Please, I don't know. That's quite a massive project. It would require my schedule is busy right now. I thought that might be the case. Is Paul struggling to be a space judge? He's fine. I think I might make this available as a mod on YouTube. I'm afraid we need the court's assistance to make this feasible. Are you sure you can handle that? Is <laughs> your uncharted borders for both of us, but something has to be done. All I can promise is I'll do my best if that's enough of you, then let's proceed. Blokes must like.
I gotta do the other one. I can do the other salute. Nah, you've dropped the ball on pretty much everything I've ever asked of you. Let's sit. The big judgy brain of yours turning out something else, okay? Ah, but fishes. Alright. Blokes are gonna have to keep using, but they have to start giving something back in return. Isn't our company enough? No. You need water, the porks need food. I'd like you two to come to an agreement that the float home world will provide the porks with food and relief aid. What kind of food? And food is available in the float home world, Lord Regent. We don't really eat so much as absorb. Do you like ambient micro amoeba? What that? Okay then, pay enough credits to buy food from elsewhere. What kind of food? Whatever you want, that fund would be yours to spend. Wood room chief. I mean like a forever buffet. Just what would the cost of the solution total judge? How many pork in the planet try? Let pork think. Hit me, gob, hob, glob, fob, clob, glob, cob, slob, gob, glob, glob, and bob. Wait, that's it? Uh huh. Point of very good swimmers. Oh. Now it's time to see what we did wrong. Alrighty, this seems fair. Then pay for a handful of buffet tickets in exchange for less space, no problem. That very nice offer, Mr. Creed. But why Pork believe you? Chief, Pork believed once, and look what happened. <gasps> but that was so long ago. How I know you're not just take big water and run away. Have faith in me. This is gonna work, Pork listen to me. I make it sense to not trust. It makes sense to not trust Blue Food. Blue Food did a very bad thing. But you don't have to believe them, you just have to believe me. I'll make sure they follow through. Have I ever given you any reason not to think? Oh, Pork's must like. This is my one. This is my legal success. Oh, overshot that so much. How would Room Chief even ask that? Would Room Chief raise as Wood Room Chief ever? Okay, Pork decide. Pork will do. Yes! If Flip give buffet, Flip can swim all Flip one. Pork won't eat. No matter how tempting. Is that the cordon right way? Keep, you... Keep away from the shores. Oh, fine. I'm in a giving spirit. I humbly accept your compromise, Judge. You. As per our agreement, I'll withdraw the bombs now. Thanks. For once we agree. Schedule reminder, our guests are impatient. Let's recap. Porks and floats, we agreed on a compromise. Floats will provide porks with aid in return floats with a left. Oh, try. Um, pork do too, but only because of Woodroom she is so nice. Interest vector rapidly approaching zero. Moving on. Blooms and Emps, all I've since. All I've seen since becoming judges is YouTube fighting. Now I've gone to the point of a war. Someone has to reach across the aisle to stop this conflict, so either fix it or I'll fix it for you. I think I'm handling this just fine right now. What do you want, Commander? You gone. Good choice. I'm serious, work with me. I already offered you the planet, and I told you we can get that ourselves. I'll let you out of the treaty completely. That's what this is all about, right? Go on. Then tear it up yourself. Just please pull off the war. Not enough. Not enough? I also want everything you've ever taken from me. Wow, those resources have gone to schools, infrastructure. It's spent, we don't have it, then you'll have to work off your debt. Oh, no! A hundred thousand cycles might do it. You want us to be slaves? This is quite bad. Vaporization is more efficient. Judge? Poll it. Let's poll it, folks. What a good idea. Bomb the float. Well, the floats are at least working with me. That's a thing. Bomb? Question mark. Bomb both. Bomb balloons only. Bomb emps only. Bomb neither. Five minute vote? Yeah, bomb balloons. Okay, my neighbors are bashing something. Here we go. Uh, one vote only, no additional votes. I 
That's just a man in my corridor shouting, you're gonna break that. It's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold, hold on. I think something's... While you're voting, I just want to make sure the building I live in isn't actually being destroyed. For this, all of us agree. Okay. Well, there's still time to vote. There's a lot of time to vote. D currently, two thirds of the people want everybody bombed. Okay, now it's 60% voting. It's still, a, you know, a massive majority. Uh, you know, what can, what can you do? 60%. Just gonna text people about my appointment. Put that in my calendar. Make sure I don't forget. Majority music continues. Still at sixty percent. How how is how is everyone? How's what's new with all of you? I like to uh, uh, did I like? I mean, did you did you? I did bad. What you're being rude about the weather. But I mean, if if you like the results, good for you. Good for you. Uh, what email? Let's check my email. It's, fr it's Friday. It's Friday the thirteenth. I've done all the most important emails, so if I get an email in, it's, it's gonna be. Am I really gonna bomb both feet? I'm hoping that some. Uh, that's a Twitch notification. That's a Twitch notification. Um, that's a press release. Let's read the press release. Dota 2 players have a 0.004697% chance to make it into the international. But PUBG is the most difficult game with a 0.00024% chance to make it to their global international. That's not a press release that I'm very interested in. Uh, Prodicius is doing a 24 hour stream. That man is braver than I am. Um, what I'm seeing about the vote is is still 60%. Uh, yeah, partner and I had a tornado drill, like as a practice or a natural tornado warning. I still oh god, I remember the first tornado warning when I was I was in Minnesota. This was years ago. This wasn't like while I was like actually was living there, but visiting for work thing and there was just a tall uh, tornado warning uh, and it's like oh yeah yeah we've just got born oh yeah yeah no one of them just touched down here it just touched down out west of the twin cities but it only touched down for i think it was some really small amount of time like a minute or so uh, and otherwise the weather was very stormy and we're like oh yeah that just happens sometimes and i was like oh okay it does ah I'm getting frustrated with work applications, but seems paltry compared to galactic nuclear warfare. In fairness, your work is real and the game isn't real. Managed to change dressing without screwing anything up, that's good. Time is inexorable, suffering from is unabated. A lot of genocide lovers of gas. I'm method acting a uh, robot. The robot has been the most recent in ways, yeah, the robot is the easiest to work with in some ways. Look, okay. You two just wasted your last. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks for solidifying. 
Ten minutes west with radar indicated movement, so basically we went. Judge, please! Simulated pleasure centers overstimulated. You're bluffing. I know your tubby bureaucrats are all the same. When it comes to actually act, you'll hide behind some missing initials. Moving on. Okay. Do it. <laughs> that is just how I run this call, or laugh maniacally. My empire! You really did? Yes, I really did. How? So here's the thing though, like I've had some success as a pet player poker, including like, you know, real money poker with real people, both uh, on the internet and in the real world. Bluffing is not actually that useful. My philosophy is, there is a thing in poker theory known as the semi-bluff, which is like, Full out bluffing doesn't. I've never seen a full out bluff a person actually really be all that successful on poker. You just have to wait for your moments, and if you if you say you're going to do something or follow through with something powerful, you have to follow through with it. Otherwise, you become. I don't know other tactics that work for like actual winning winning real money, which I've done. Uh, and there are probably other ways to play, but I play what's called tight aggressive, and it has worked for me. And. Bluffing, no. How? Oh my goodness. Do it again, do it again. You see, some people like me. If you'll hit, if you'll excuse me. They can't all be gone. They can't be. I failed everyone and now I have nothing more to say. I have only one last request. If you play batshit crazy, it drives the bluffers mad. Yes, that's very true. Playing poker in a weird, unpredictable way. It can frustrate everyone. Same for like playing Go, and there is a games example of the, the person playing Go in a way that is illogical. And it actually makes experienced players find it much harder to play against a Go player who does that. Um, that's hard to deal with. It can be, it can still be defeated, but it just requires being flexible and patient. Uh, and it works as a kind of a weird mind game. But it does. Those people, those people don't necessarily tend to win more. Though. Uh, one last request. I just got back the photo from my latest vacation, but everyone I try to show seems to be too busy. So this was our hotel. This was our wonderful guide. This has been doing this for 30 cycles, but it can't possibly be 50, right, Judge? He's at least 50. Well, I never. Who do I have to write to to get some good help? Wow, where everybody go? Pork's not paying attention. They have departed. Should Pork go too? We would appreciate it. Okay. Have a good weekend. You did well, Judge. Mm. Some problems solved, other problems erased. I did... I don't want to say you were right. I did what I had to do. But it activated your pleasure centers a little right. Proposal, we can work together again in the future. Process it until we meet again. Great work this week. I destroyed entire civilizations. Am I going to be in trouble? Don't be so dramatic. I'm sure there were some shuttles in orbit and the occasional moon base. How do you feel?
Ah, whatever. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's a two to one ratio. Zen, you're right. You're absolutely right there, Zen. That is correct. You have analyzed that in a... You know, when I first rode in and saw you bound the desk wide-eyed and gave I knew you had potential. You've analyzed that in a sensible way. Now, before my very eyes, you've fulfilled it. You've become a true bureaucrat. 5 p.m. See you Monday. I want to hang up. In character, I want to hang up because I'm like, nope. But the curiosity side of me wants to see who it is. Hello? Oh, fuck it is. Judge! Please forgive my intrusion. No, you're about to begin the weekend. I simply want to thank you for your exceptional efforts this week. Because if you have people have a true place to call home. I can even forgive you for still not having done anything about the atrocious deco in the world from Santa. I mean, that's what I'm here to do. Always happy to help. Oh, you have no idea how happy that makes me to hear. There are so many issues that must be handled with the utmost taste. To be a lack of toiletries in bathroom 4 B, I don't use them, but it sets a bad impression. I recently purchased a decorative hat that was not to my liking, so I'd like you to check in the charge back policy I've heard of. Recent close contact with those filthy porks and introduced communicable parasitic disease amongst the people that is on course to cause a complete extinction. Why the list goes on. I'll get right on that. Oh, thank you, I'll fax the click. Sports to fire. What did you cause? Nothing. You're just good. I appreciate you, Violet. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. That's that's enough of that. It's warm in here. I'm gonna open the window. <sighs> I need a haircut. <sighs> oh, I need to do my laundry. Am I gonna do it today or am I gonna do it tomorrow? What else do I need to, oh, I need to. The sock, yeah. How's my my hair's not bad, is it? it? Doesn't look too bad. I got to do. I've got my Stargy Valley to do list for next week's Stargy Valley, which is house, rearrange trees, cows. Yeah, mostly that. Um, what else have I got on my to do list? Going to put a Patreon post update for the uh, folks at the eight dollar tier. That's going to go up. Oh, I just feel like I just had an administrative journey. Goodbye, Caliban. Don't worry, you've caught you caught all the space happening. You caught it. You literally caught the court. There are people outside shouting. Why? Oh, heck of a work week to do on a Friday. It just it did it having I had a few different things to do with lawyers and legal things. It's very much like... Like your lawyer is not your emotional support animal. But I understand how lawyers and judges and how these situations get the way that they do. I can't imagine what it's like in a divorce context. For anyone, like, you know, because so many things happen with so many clients. Uh... And the thing you should do as a client is be completely honest with your lawyer, like be completely transparent. But I appreciate lots of people don't want to do that in certain contexts. So things come up like halfway through the process that 
Oh, God. Um, and when you're dealing with another party, you can try and be like as reasonable and as sensible as possible, but you can't control how other people are going to behave. And this just felt like, it just felt like that. It was well written enough and well paced enough that it actually felt like going through difficult processes with difficult people. And I didn't, I immediately got bad vibes from those emps because they were a bit manipulative in a way that reminded me of things that I don't think are very good. Flipping was a ride, wasn't it, Caliburn? I don't like uh, manipulative people very much. Uh, and the problem is there, there is, particularly because they're supposed to be an empathic race of people that I particularly don't like. People tend to be less manipulative when they're more empathic because they understand any implicit bias they might have or situations they're in or situations that they put other people in um, and so they tend to take their foot off if they can ah uh, you can't control how people I mean you can't you can try and you can it's like uh, what's the phrase it's like if they wanted to they would is a phrase I keep thinking about lately. And it's like you can encourage people to do something and you can even put a lot of emotional labor into being available to people and helping people. And But at some point, people are just going to do whatever they're going to do. And this game just brought up all of those feelings today for me. Like, And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, that means it's, it's, it's cleverly done to represent that, but I'm... I'm I I am a hundred percent like I'm exhausted by that. Alfred very kindly donated like four or five hundred bits, and those are basically I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna treat myself to donuts. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, um, I I'll probably you know what I might even show you where I'll go for the donuts. I said he can't make us behave, let's go ape shit. I can't, it's true, I can't make you behave, but I can, uh, this is a community space that I am in charge of and I do have the ability to mute or block people from it. Uh, and it is my responsibility to make this, whatever happens in this space I have, you know, I'm somewhat responsible for that. And whilst I can't control what people do, I can control my reaction to them. So. It's things like, it's why I was a little, like, I didn't know that the game last week was going to have homophobic language in. And it's just a particular thing for me where it's like, a certain word came up and it's like, I don't hear you with that word much anymore and I don't like it. Uh, and I like to be prepared for things. Um, I'm medium old, will never use social media properly. Paul, I'm 28, I'm not getting TikTok. Oh, I'm older than you and I've already got. Um, I'm gonna go to Lucky's Donuts. I'm gonna go to it. It is, uh, where is Lucky's Donuts? It's on Barad, right? No, no, it's not, it's on Thurlow. What time does it open and close? Please tell me it doesn't close at 5 p.m. Oh, fuck you. You're in the middle of a, like a world city and you're closing at 5 p.m. I bought a light jacket from Forever 21. It was broken within two days. That's some hot trash. What happened to it? I'm very sorry to hear that. That would drive me mad. What about the... Uh, Maple Bakery. That's not listed here. That's not listed here. Well done. I'm going to go somewhere and buy something sweet for myself for fun. Because I can do that. And I will. If you're not exactly 21 years old when you wear the clothes you buy. I haven't been 21 for like three weeks at this point. 
You know what? What if I went down here? Is the um is the bear place still open? On Davy. Transylvanian bakery, no. Fat burger. That's not what I want. The basic. Is this new? Oh no, it's that. What but it says Joe's grill there. What what? Did they ch has this changed? The, that's changed. This is different. I should probably try that out sometime. Look, I'm going to go somewhere. You don't need to know about this. I'm going to go somewhere and get myself something. Remember when I killed the bear in my game while FaceTiming me? Yeah, yeah, this is the, the problem with, with, you know, this is the problem with non-binary lesbians. They don't have any qualms about killing bears. Ah... Oh. Stanley Barrable has contact warnings for some of its endings. Oh, that's nice. Bears are invincible. Oh, I forgot about that! Okay, okay, this is enough. I've got to stop. I've had a nice week streaming for you all. It's been quite... It's been a bit of a tiring week. I've had a lot happening. Mostly, like, not exciting things. Just, like, behind the scenes. Like, you know, I just went to... There were doctor things I did. I did a bunch of house maintenance. I still need to vacuum everything after doing some other cleaning. I need to chuck stuff out. I've been doing some writing, I've been doing some admin, I've been doing some make sure I get paid for freelance, I've been doing a like, is this my next freelance project thing? I did a lot of stuff where it was just booking appointments and doing like the sort of things, you know, it's like, oh, I've got to go somewhere and go to a place and do something and then come back. And that's like, that's kind of three, three and a half days, three and a half hours of my day. That's like half of my working day done to do one thing. And I never enjoy days like that. And I've had a few things like that this week. And it's fine. They're all done. And you saw me, like, get a phone call. Stuff is just done. And I feel good about that. Hi. Welcome back, Tremor. Sorry. Things have happened. Uh, Tremor, a lot has been happening. I'll probably post this as a VOD because it was a really good solo short game experience. And then you can watch this on my YouTube channel forever. All of my links are on my link tree. For social media it's down below this stream hi our verb nouns use your time i'm sorry that the timing is not ideal uh oh my god um who am i gonna raid i've raided prod a couple of times how about himalayas instead because she is gonna play Apex Legends. There is a new season of Apex Legends. Uh, and I have been playing it. And I have been enjoying it. I've been having a good video game time. With that. Um, I will be back next week. I'll probably do... Did the judging go okay? Yeah, we're fine. Horns fan. Uh, Horns fan, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I will be back. Let's start the raid now. Let's just start it now. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday where I'll probably do GeoGuessr. Maybe I'll do some variation of GeoGuessr. Thursday, Stardew Valley will continue. There'll be the cows. My house will get bigger. Other stuff will happen. Things. Friday, I have no idea what I'm doing next Friday. We don't know. I've got a schedule on a schedule tab. So Thursday, Friday, 1 p.m. Wednesday, it'll be 2, 3. It'll be 3.30 p.m. probably. Unless stuff stuff could happen. I don't know. Uh, what else? Please keep being careful. There is still a pandemic on. Please be really safe. Please wear a mask. Please keep getting vaxxed and boosted. Please be cautious. It's not that I don't want people to be able to enjoy themselves but please enjoy yourself carefully and responsibly and make very sensible informed choices because don't forget this is a virus that can still you can have it and never know and it will never affect you and then the person next to you could die from it there are still people here who are double vaxxed and boosted and masked who are being hospitalized or sometimes dying so please be careful um I really like streaming. I appreciate you all being here. Please take care. Please be lovely to Himmy. She's one of my favorite streamers.
Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in double heavy at the moment. 